Hello everyone, today the plan is to furnish a penthouse with just the new Love Struck pack and the base game. This was actually the first build I did with the new pack, so I thought this would be a good test of how good the build buy stuff is to just use the pack and the base game. And I know we're all hyped about the new penthouses, so it had to be done. <laughs> So let me just jump into the build and show you what I've done. So this penthouse is originally a two bed and two bath, but when I went in, I was literally building it just for a couple. So I decided to extend the smaller bathroom and eventually I make it into like a teeny little home gym, which I thought was quite cool. Um, I make the actual primary bedroom smaller, which I know is a bit of like a move, but given that I'm only using the base game and the pack and it's a starter home budget, it was way too big of a bedroom, it was just gonna look really weird and actually the communal space like needed a bit more room. I've gotta say, I love this really simple tile that came in this pack. It's just this like simple square tile and I just love it. I think it's really good that even in a pack that has a lot of like kind of wacky, colorful stuff, they've still gone, hey, we'll throw you just a nice simple thing that's gonna fit everywhere, you know? Now since this obviously is just new pack and base game, the kitchen is a little sad. We didn't get a new kitchen set in this pack. But honestly, as I've said before, I've never actually played this game all that much with no packs. I bought the game initially with cats and dogs. So it's actually good for me to sometimes like force myself to use base game stuff, which I otherwise like completely ignore. <laughs> and I was hoping to make this build like super colorful. So I initially went for just the blue cabinets just because I thought it was a subtle, like addition of color, but I ended up changing them to the white ones because I used this really bold backsplash tile and I had pink walls and it was just like, I'm going for color, but that was maybe like a little bit too much, you know? And as I just previously mentioned, this is a starter home budget. However, it ended up being 32K, but I don't understand. That must just be starter home budget. I thought starter home was like 20, 21, 22K. And this is just for a couple, but I literally made two Sims and then moved into the unfurnished house and furnished it. So I don't know if I've done something wrong there, um, and maybe this isn't starter home budget, but that's that's what I did. I, I played it completely by the rules. I played it in the game, and somehow it ended up more expensive than I expected. But 32K is still like a very doable like starter. Like you could move into one for like a little bit and it doesn't take you long to make enough money for 32K regardless. So after doing this build, I can definitely say that I think it's totally doable to make a build with just this pack and the base game. I wasn't really sure. I was like, I'd heard that the, the build buy stuff was maybe a little bit lacking and maybe it is a little bit more for build mode, like exterior, there's some bits, but I didn't really do so much of this because this was purely like, I had planned to just furnish. I obviously did like a little bit of renovation by moving some walls and things like that. But the furniture and the buy mode is very good and I think definitely doable with, I mean, it's kind of expensive some stuff, but I think you can definitely do a cheaper build. You just have to be a bit more minimal and definitely be willing to like add in the base game stuff. Because honestly, I think this came out really nice. And like I said, it was 32K, so maybe not quite starter home, who knows, I'm clearly unsure on the budgets, but yeah, anyway. So I was really trying to use like as much of the pack as I could, even though this is limited space. So I was using lots of the different wallpapers and I ended up using that lovely like arched wallpaper in the hallway. And I changed the hallway wallpaper loads of times as you will have seen, but I don't know. I think that was a bold choice to do this very patterned wallpaper all down the hallway um but i thought it was fun and it's probably something i wasn't gonna do again you know i'd probably use it a bit more sparingly in future so it was a it was a fun thing to try out also in the bathroom i discovered that there is this marble floor which looks as if to me it has different swatches so that you should be able to have a corner piece a side piece and then like a block color middle piece and i could not get it to work the corner pieces i'd literally have it ready you know, rotate it round, put it in the corner and the corner piece would disappear. So I don't know if that's me misunderstanding how that flooring's meant to work or what, but yeah, it just, I could not get it to work. I would literally put the piece in one spot, rotate it, drag it over, disappeared. So I don't know if that's me or the game, but I was not pleased. <laughs> As I said, my plan with this was basically to just do a furnishing of the penthouse that was already there, but I ended up doing a bit more of like a renovation. I ended up changing the color of the outside fences and the outside walls and the windows because it actually, I realized that it doesn't really match the rest of the building. It's like black on top of like a fully like white sort of cream building. 
So I end up changing that sort of nearer the end. I think I've just done the fences. But something definitely felt off to me the whole time I was building and I think that was it. Just like the really block dark black walls was just not really for me. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, I ended up turning that teeny little room into like a tiny gym with just like a treadmill and some weights, um, which is kind of like random, but equally it was good to use the new gym stuff um, and did like a few of like the posters and the wall decals and stuff. And I used like the fun like cheetah print wallpaper as well. So it's kind of like weird to have like a teeny tiny gym, but like equally it's probably the most realistic version of having a home gym that there is. Like most people don't have space for like a huge, gym with all the stuff in the house. And then I turned the second bedroom into this nice dark office space which I thought was really fun. I used that rose sort of floral wallpaper in like the dark like black and red swatch. And if this isn't a starter then definitely you know the, the easy fix is to just remove the TV and the computer I've added. I should have known it wasn't going to be like a 20k build when I was adding these things in. I was like wow this seems really easy. It was too easy because it wasn't even nearly 20k. I kept a lot of the exterior the same. I sort of just added an additional bit of fencing around the landscaping and just moved the landscaping in a bit because some of it was like a little bit clipping in the walls, but that's all good. And I just kind of liked how it looked already, so I didn't feel the need to change it up too much. And of course, I added the new Woohoo blanket on the roof. I feel like that's become a real staple of this pack already. I've seen loads of people doing it. It sort of felt like natural thing to do. I think because you can stargaze on it, it just kind of makes sense to put it out in like an open space. And this has obviously a lot of rooftops, penthouses, things like that. So yeah, had to add that in. It was just, a, it was a need. <laughs> yeah, and you'll see that I tried like a lot of different wallpapers on the exterior. I tried a bunch of like dark bricks and things, but I just ended up thinking that the white or like creamy light color looked a lot better, at least in my opinion. I also added like a different like roof trim and things like that. So let me just pop into the game now and show you the finished build. Okay, so this is the exterior of the build, which obviously I didn't change too much. The shape itself is still the exact same. I just changed sort of the roof trim. I did a different door swatch, different wallpaper. Essentially just changed a lot of swatches and then I added the few little exterior bits, the table, blanket, little water tank. And you'll see, I don't know if this is really the best lighting. I mean, you can see it a bit better here. In the daytime, the walls do look a little bit more pinky. But if you look at the actual swatch, this is the colour that it's meant to be. So it's very much meant to be like a creamy beige sort of colour that matches this. Like you'll see it's almost the exact same. <laughs> but I don't know, it's looking pretty pink in a lot of the times of day. But that's okay, pink is good too. <laughs> Yes, this is where you would enter the lot here and go in through the front door. So unfortunately the hallway is like extremely bare bones. I was trying to play it safe on the budget. We only had 2K left. So that's why I wanted to use the really bright like patterned wallpaper because I thought it felt a little bit more furnished without actually putting anything in there. And since it is already, you see here, it's almost 33K. I thought it'd be better to leave it. <laughs> and then obviously if someone were to play in this, it doesn't take long before you can maybe add like a console table and plants, things like that. But then you go through this archway and then we have the living area, which I just extended by I think like one tile this way. We have this lovely big kitchen area with a few little clutter bits. And then this is the living room space. And I love that they have put these big windows around the corner, stunning view. Again, with more budget, I'd probably put some additional chairs here, something in the corner, but we were going for starter, so. <laughs> and then across the hallway, we have this teeny little gym that I was talking about. So I put this nice big mirror that we got in the pack, got the treadmill, got some weights, and I made this poster really big. I thought that was really nice. Good bit of wall art. You'd imagine they'd be inspirational quotes and things like that. <laughs> and then down the hallway, we have the office, which like I said, is like nice, dark, cozy vibes. Just like a little reading area here in the corner. And then we go over to the primary bedroom, which I absolutely love. I'm obsessed with this wallpaper. I love the swatches on this bed. I love this rug. This pack has so many good items. And literally the only base game stuff in this room is what the floor, the bedside tables, and the dresser, which is pretty good going. And then we come through into the ensuite bathroom. These are the new tiles we got and I love this combo. I think it looks really nice. Oops, I've got a wall. <laughs> My bad, there you go. 
be a nice built-in shower. And then again, just obviously simple furnishing and clutter, but I think it's sort of quite effective. These tiles have some like really wacky swatches, like this bright pink, which I'm going to be trying so hard not to use in every build because I'm just kind of obsessed with that color. And obviously I was going for colorful in this build, but I didn't want to overdo it. So I just added a few pink accents, little yellow rug, things like that. But yeah, so that is the finished thing. I hope you enjoyed it. This will be up on the gallery. My idea is just Ellie Isabel Price. Like I said several times, it is just base game and the new pack. So if you have the pack, feel free to download. And I would love to know what you think of the build in the comments. And also tell me your new thoughts on the pack. I'm really obsessed, but I know it seems like there's some mixed opinions. So yeah, if you have any thoughts, do let me know. <laughs> but anyway, I'm off. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel for future content. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.